bombshell tonight as the country searches desperately for two-year-old baby Sky, mommy busy with a search of her own online for a lover. That's right, we uncover mommy's online profile looking for love and money in the days following baby Sky, her little boy's disappearance. Julia's search for a sugar daddy. All theories are still viable. His mother's online dating life is coming under scrutiny. Police have looked at this website, seekingarrangement.com, in connection with the case. I've read and watched the reports about the dating site myself, and I can tell you I have to be very sensitive. She was looking for a wealthy guy who could uh, really take care of her and, uh, um, and pamper her. One of the site's so-called sugar babies appears to be Sky's mom looking for a sugar daddy, seeking an allowance of three to $5,000 a month. Detectives have issued a search warrant for Julia's account activity. They wanted to know um, exactly when she accessed the website, as well as uh, with whom she might have uh, been in contact with. I do believe Julia has a, she is responsible. We are live and taking your calls as the rest of the country looks desperately for two-year-old baby Sky. Mommy's got a search of her own going on for a lover, a rich lover, looking for love and money online. Straight out to Casey McNurthy from SeattlePI.com. Casey, what can you tell me about this website, SeekingArrangement.com? Well, uh, SeekingArrangement.com is, is a website for people looking for companionship, often in, in exchange for people uh, who are financially stable. Uh, in their words, it tries to match modern sh uh, sugar daddies with sh uh, what they call sugar babies, which are people looking for financial and emotional help. You know, Joe Gomez, KTRH, it sounds like, and I'm not saying mommy's a hooker, but I am saying when you say you want a, quote, relationship in exchange for $5,000 a month, I mean, I'm just reading in between the lines, but I guess you saw a pretty woman, right? Weigh in. Well, it's pretty shocking, Nancy. You know, according to reports, this uh, she may have signed on as recently as two days ago. You know, this profile that we believe is to belong to her, it lists uh, JB as a sugar baby who's looking for a sugar daddy. They give her up to $5,000 a month, Nancy, $5,000 a month. The fact that she may have logged on two days ago while her baby is still out there missing? I mean, what does this mean in this search for little baby Sky? It's outrageous. And uh, Joe Gomez, KTRH, we uncovered that she's online in the last 48 hours from right now. So while we are covering Baby Sky's disappearance, while search efforts are being organized about 12 miles away from his apartment, Liz, let's see that map where the search this weekend is going to go down. Um, all this is going on. Mommy's online looking for a man. I've got her profile right here. Let's take a look. Okay. Happy, single, loving, all caps, fun, and passionate. All right. To Karen Stark, psychologist, when you put something in all caps online, isn't it the same as yelling? Yes, it's the same as, as really coming across very strongly. And here, Nancy, it's just here's somebody who supposedly has obsessive compulsive disorder, and yet she's online and she's trying to have romance. And so to me, that's a person who has no feelings. It's so much more like an antisocial personality. It's outrageous. I mean, and Unleash the lawyers joining me tonight, Daryl Cohen, defense attorney, Renee Rockwell, defense attorney out of Atlanta. Daryl, have you looked at this thing? Stop chasing and get chased. Send flowers. Write letters. Kiss in the rain. Kiss in the rain? Kiss in the rain? Her son is missing. Her baby is gone and she's saying kiss put Cohen up kiss in the rain quite frankly Nancy it's it's not the right thing to do but I understand it she's trying her best to get herself her mind I'm sorry, off you know of her what? child I've got so many people in my ear in New York nutting up over this I couldn't hear what you said New York can I please hear Daryl Cohen just for 30 seconds go ahead Daryl start over 
Nancy, I get it. I don't think what she's doing is appropriate, but I also understand that she has a child that's missing, and she's very, very upset, and she's trying her best to get away from it. So she's trying to divert herself in the same way that films divert us from the terrible things that are happening in the world. So I get it. No, Stop. she could have done better. Stop. Stop. What did you say about film and terrible things happening in the world? When people go to films, they try to divert their attention from the type of things that are happening in real life. What she's trying to do is divert herself from what's happening in her life. And she's hoping, I suspect, and I hope that her child is going to be returned to her healthy and in one piece. Daryl, Daryl, she won't talk to cops. She has not spoken to cops at all since the day Baby Sky went missing. I don't know what you're talking about, divert attention. Maybe I'm just projecting, but when my fiance was murdered, I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink. I couldn't hear the radio, the music, TV. They had to stop the clock because the ticking was too much to take. Renee Rockwell, she's online screaming, I'm passionate. All right? That's Nancy, like putting perfume on a pig. Is there what? anything about that that's relevant to this case? If she was yes, talking about having is. only one uh, child. No, 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 no. You asked a question. Is it relevant to the case? And yes, it is. Because as the two of you know, you're not just two pretty faces. You've tried a lot of cases. What goes into every case for the prosecution to prove is course of conduct, intent, frame of mind. Her frame of mind is about finding a sugar daddy that can support her for $5,000 a month. Her frame of mind is, is not out there handing out... Uh, I'm answering illegal, your question. Uh, but do we need to illegal. cut her mic? Okay, I guess that's a yes. So please cut Renee's mic. Um, her frame of mind is not out handing flyers, is not searching for her son, is not organizing searches for her son. Is not, she's not at the police station looking at the map, uh, submitting to a polygraph, doing anything they ask and going beyond that. Her frame of mind is online finding another lover. I think it's highly probative. Daryl, you used to be a felony prosecutor with quite a record of conviction. Can you explain frame of mind? Sure, I can explain frame of mind, but Nancy, Renee said it. She said it well. It's not Go illegal for her to it, do please. this. Well, my Repeat, view of please this, explain it. she has every right to do this. She's trying to take her okay, mind so off of what's going on. Okay, so you're not going to explain frame well, of Nancy, mind. Well, Nancy, I will okay, explain it. Fine. I will explain it. She's Good. got, if do she it. talks to the police, then they're going to take it. We have ourselves as the press okay, to blame. Okay, never mind. I'm going to go to another bad. lawyer joining us right now. Clay Terry is joining us. This is the dad, Solomon Metawala's attorney. Clay, I'm sure in your jurisdiction, like many other jurisdictions, frame of mind, course of conduct, intent is very relevant when trying to prove a crime. Could you, Clay, explain what frame of mind means under the law, in a nutshell. Well, it goes to her frame of mind, goes to what her intent is. Uh, you know, did she intend to do something or did she not intend to do something? And I, I think it's that simple. Again, Mommy has not been named a formal suspect, but sources are saying an arrest of Mommy scheduled for yesterday was aborted. Why? As mommy is kicked out of the hotel where she's slung up hiding online, Copson says she is not a suspect. We uncover tonight mommy's online activities in the days, the hours after her son goes missing. She's online looking for a sugar daddy.